went out there for breakfast and pretty soon all of a sudden we heard a lot of anti-aircraft fire. My dad and I went out to check it and he was surprised, number one, that it was going off. The practice was so early in Sunday morning, which is unusual. But then he said, that's live ammunition. You know, it's usually white puffs and today we're getting black puffs, that's live ammunition. And we could see a few planes flying amongst the, where they were blowing up in the air. Um, about that time the phone rang and it was the guy that ran the station at IAEA, which uh, was right at Pearl Harbor. And my dad uh, ran the railroad at the time. And, uh, and he was calling to say that the Japanese were attacking Pearl Harbor. It got very quiet. <laughs> I mean, the happy Sunday thing was now, uh, we, he said right away that he was gonna have to go down. And of course we were then worried for him because we didn't know the extent of it, of anything at that time. I mean, it was, so we went down to the backyard and and there was my mother with a great big white blanket. She put it out onto the, onto the ground. And I said to my mom, you know, aren't we a good target on sitting on a white blanket? And she did, didn't even answer. We were there for quite a while and then all of a sudden I heard oncoming two planes coming down the valley and they really came low and they were off to my right and um, Wow, I, I, I thought like I could, felt like I could throw a rock and hit them, they were so close. About that time I could hear, you know, what we, what we would call now incoming, and uh, the whistling sound of, and, uh, and then the house on my left blew up. My dad got, we went home late in the afternoon, I guess my mother had communicated with him at the office, and we went home and then he came in not too much later, and, uh, I guess we've been told that, to try to keep the light down, but, but people use lights. We left half the lights off, you know, and the light in the room you were in. So we were all in the kitchen and my dad was cooking. He decided at the end that we needed a treat. So he said, we're gonna, we're gonna have a special sandwich, a Hershey sandwich. And you put, you toast it in the, uh, two pieces of white bread in those days in a toaster and uh, slather it with butter, put the Hershey bar in between and squeeze it and it kind of half melts it and then you eat it. Oh, it's so good, <laughs> so good. Yeah, so that, that, was a, that was the start of a new family tradition. <laughs> um, the gentleman who lived across the street from us was a civilian employee, I think for the Navy. And he, he came roaring home, you know, I mean, screaming to the whole neighborhood, we're being bombed, we're being bombed, we're being bombed. Well, I mean, maybe we'd seen a newsreel or something. I mean, it's, it's in your imagination you're being bombed. You don't really know what being bombed is. So he said, you know, fill your bathtubs. Um, you know, probably the Japanese are going to invade. Um, pack some things and be ready to go. I don't know where we were going to go. I have no idea. I mean, nobody, I mean, everything is just, what do we do? So, you know, we got a can of dog food for pepper, uh, some cans of tuna, I think corned beef hash, and then, you know, a, my favorite pillow. <laughs> we put them in pillowcases, so in case we had to walk with them or put them over our shoulders. I'm Bubba Macon Walker, Punahou class of 1950. Johnny Walker, Punahou class of 1950.